It's 2018 and most of us are exploring new ways of finding more excitement into the bedroom. Tonight we are talking sex toys. Tonight we are trying something very new. And uh, as you can see, my table is filled up. <laughs> I'm so geared up. I have my lovely Na. You've already seen Na, our favorite, one of our favorite guests. And uh, introducing lovely Adiza from Odoa Sem gift and romance shop so um she's gonna help us explore and know what these are about i, I mean i have no clue about most of the things going on here you're welcome to the show thank you and uh viewers you're also welcome this is let's talk about sex powered by paul's ghana my name is roxanne and let's get into it what are sex toys send me your answers in the comment box let me know what you feel let me know what you think so now let me ask you since you are let's say the neutral you're representing the neutral Ghanaian out there what what do you think is a sex toy <coughs> sex toy yeah i mean when you hear sex toy what comes into your head i mean toys toys like what barbie toy or what <laughs> mom made toys Anything, I mean, if you had sex toys, what do you think they are for? Used in the bedroom. Okay, toys used in the bedroom. So what kind of images come to your head? The, as it's like, yeah. The structure of the penis. Okay, something like, a stru like structures as a penis. Yeah. That's okay. A, that's a deal though. Okay, that's a deal. Okay, I know you are there. I'll come <laughs> to you. So, okay. Adiza, what is a sex toy? Okay. And we have like so many different types of sex toys. It's a multi billion dollar industry worldwide. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, um, believe it or not, it's a in Ghana here, because Ghana. I know even most Ghanaians, the average Ghanaian wouldn't even want to talk about sex, not to even patronize sex toys. So. That's People say, but I, th I think it's changing. People are more open-minded now. Okay. I, I have a lot of customers. Okay. People coming comfortably. They ask all their questions. Okay. Repeat buyers. I think like, people people are getting more open-minded. I would say. Okay, so let's get into it straight. I mean, we are far behind time. What we've got so much here. So I'm going to start with the uh, this one. This looks familiar to me. <laughs> <laughs> this looks most when familiar. You say sex toys. Most people only think of dildos and vibrators. Okay, what is this? Is this a dildo or a vibrator? So it's a vibrating dildo. Okay, so this is a vibrating dildo, yeah. and uh, uh, it looks like a penis. It feels like a penis. Ooh, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, you can, you can touch it. You can touch it. Ooh. It's made of, Ooh. It's made of Ooh. Oh, she's uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's made of a mm. real feel like mm. a cyber skin material. Okay. It's made to feel like, like real skin. Yeah. So, so a dildo is anything shaped like a penis. It okay. Can be glass, it can be oh, pink, okay. red, blue. Okay. Just anything with a phallic shape okay. is a dildo. And this is very, very smooth. Are all dildos that no, smooth? No, no, no. There's some with veins, some with like Ooh. all kinds of ridges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is not veiny. I'm like, okay, this is like a very smooth dick. Different like strokes for different folks. Mm. <laughs> and uh, I see. Let's put it on. Oh, okay, okay. We, I'm fi the, oh oh ah ah oh. <laughs> okay. So then, as it vibrates, you pull it inside, and you you do it yourself, or you just leave it so in you there. Can use you can either use it externally okay. to stimulate your clitoris. Mm -hmm. See different functions. I just change it. Okay. It has that, the speed. Different functions. Okay. Different speeds, different functions. Okay. So some people just use it to stim stimulate the clitoris. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then some people actually insert it. Okay, but when you insert it, because it's vibrating, do you still need to pull it in and out or you just leave it in there? So I tell people to explore. Okay. And see what works for you. Okay. Someone might prefer to just leave it and then enjoy the vibration. Mm -hmm. Someone might prefer the back and forth motion. Mm -hmm. Someone might just like it outside on the clitoris. So it's 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 a toy. Hmm. To okay. So let's see. We have a. Uh, okay. This one looks safe. <laughs> what is this? It, it's like a lipstick, lip uh, lip balm or something like that. So. Uh, so this is a bullet vibrator. Bullet vibrator. Yeah. Also for the vagina. Yes. Okay. I usually 
wouldn't recommend you insert this. Okay. It's meant for external stimulation. Mm. Can I put a but who's going to insert this? It's so small. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> is there a battery? No. No, there's no so battery. This is, this is also a bullet. Okay. Put a battery in here. Wow, this is vibration. Okay, so this is what? A bullet oh, vibrator. vibrator. Yeah. Like for the clitoris, right? Yes. Or the Wha nipples, or just stimulate, you know, our whole body. The whole body, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can feel it. Mm. Ooh, this is a, intense, right? Ooh. Ah. So not only can a woman use it on herself, but mm. a man can use it on his partner. But can men use this? On because, themselves? Yeah. Um, well, it feels not good. typically, yeah. but feels good. not typically, men don't usually use like bullet vibrators. Okay. But if, if, if he enjoys the sensation uh -huh. around... Oh, now you're people. using it already. <laughs> You can try, but I'm thinking maybe a man can use it on his balls or something you know, like you know that. that. area between. Ooh, um, the, can we put it on? It's a, okay. It's yeah, it's, it's really intense. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know that area between the, the anus and the penis? That, that, that line, area, yeah. It's very sensitive. sensitive. So we can use it. But I think this one, he will freak out because, like, <laughs> I mean, it's so intense. Okay, let's do two more before we go on a break. Wow. Uh, I see this one yeah this one looks like a penis too so this is a rabbit vibrator okay rabbit vibrator okay but this one looks dangerous it looks dangerous it looks like a gun right <laughs> why does it look dangerous mm. this? look the, in, the part that you said is actually smaller and slimmer than this one it's actually mm. smaller okay this whole contraption on the outside is meant to stimulate your clitoris mm -hmm. while you insert this side so let me put it on this is for rotation, this is for vibration. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Okay, so this this one, for instance, you don't really do much, right? Yeah. So you it's just put it in there, that's its own thing. The thruster. The thruster. Yeah. I see the rabbit ears that vibrate. Yeah, so this one vibrates on your clitoris. Yeah. Okay, can I can I hold it? The thruster. It looks like a gun to me because it was like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives you so many different sensations. Yeah, yeah. But you see, um, some people want to know out there, how safe is this? Because, um, I mean, how safe is it to use? Is it for everyone? Is it for... Um, so, so as I mentioned, this is a multi-billion dollar industry. Mm -hmm. People have invested millions and millions yeah. of dollars researching yeah. and manufacturing these products. Yeah, I'm trying to stop it. <laughs> yeah. Down yeah. Turn them so there are unsafe, there are unsafe mm -hmm. products on the market. Mm -hmm. So if you do decide to start exploration of sex toys. You need to be do sure. Do your research and make sure you're getting your toys from mm -hmm. a reputable source. Okay. Make sure you know what materials your toys are made of, mm -hmm. made from, how yeah. you're supposed to clean them, how you're supposed to store them. Okay. It's really important because you are inserting these things into the most intimate parts of, of your body. Exactly. So people, you know, make, like, do your research. Do your Don't research. just pick anything in the, in the name of doodle and then just put it inside you. So this is a thruster, a rabbit thruster. Okay. And I mean, it, it all looks like a dick to me. And uh, I'm going to read a few comments. Let's see what people feel about this. Okay. Uh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> people are on blast, right? Real badness says, too sweet. Jesus, come and see you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Fred Okoro, God. Opinion Savior Kwame Obin says, I want to know if the lady teaching uses some on herself. <laughs> Upon Sa we'll get to that. And Ponsa Clement says that waste products, people in fact, okay, well, no. We don't need that type of negativity. Taib Sani says, I bet she can't do that. Ex she can't do the experiment right here. Alexandria Snowy says that, make an example, let's see how it works. Sel Ang says, the lady in yellow goes sweet too. Hey, you people. Yao Stan says that you people are coming to spoil our market. Imagine all our ladies go for this, go in for this. Men are in trouble. And that comes to my next question. We need to talk about that, yeah. Yes. So first of all, someone wants to know if you use them on yourself. Um, I, I come on these shows yeah. to teach people how the products work, yeah. to shed more light. Mm -hmm. to talk about my personal life. So I'm Great. So I'm there you have it. <laughs> yes. After the show, you can call in and know about that. But here, she wants to show us how it's used. Okay. So uh, Yao says that this is going to spoil their market as men. I'm glad really yeah, because I've always wondered if I mean ladies get used to this, or even men, because we, I have we have some for men, right? So you you see this thing right here? Yeah. Can it hold you? No, it can't hold can me. Can kiss you? No, can't, but I can't kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't kiss it. 
No, I, I, it can't. It can't do all that. You can no, talk to you. it can't do that. It, it can't, can't make love to you. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's no way a toy can replace a man. A human. This just gives targeted, specific sensations. Okay. But it, it, there's no way. It, can it can't replace. replace. No. I think I agree, but you know, sometimes what if um someone gets too attached to it or addicted to it, in so, a sense. So some people may have addictive personalities. Oh, okay. I always use maybe alcohol as an example. Okay. They are social drinkers. Okay. They have an occasional glass of wine here or there, a few cocktails, mm -hmm. and they function fine. Mm -hmm. And then they're alcoholics. Okay. Who drink a little too much. Yeah. Just the same, maybe mm -hmm. sex toy alcoholics. Yeah. Who overuse it. So everything in moderation. Yeah. You shouldn't overuse it to a point where now you you need it, you crave it, you're addicted to it, you can't function without it. Yeah. So it's a matter of personalities mm -hmm. and how like you, should, you need to do everything in moderation. Now you're quiet. So. <laughs> Tell me how you feel about this and this. And we've done three. So the three, which one would you use? Mm -hmm. I would go for it. You go for this. Why? Why would you go for that one? It, it feels natural. It feels more natural. It feels but it, it, it seems a bit too smooth for me. We have any one. Okay. One yeah, 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 yeah. Why wouldn't you go for this one? Because look at this one. It's, it's kind of matching with my dress. I'm taking it home <laughs> after the show. It's, it's tiny. Nice and it looks scary. Yeah, it looks like a weapon. Oh. Of mass destruction. Dude, do you know how powerful this thing is? Because it goes up and this down. Thing is stimulating your clitoris at the same time these rotating. Oh my god, that that is, it's I mean, that's intense. something else. Okay, let's move on to uh, mm, this one. <laughs> so the guys don't feel left out. Yeah, so guys. So sex toys aren't only for women. Mm -hmm. this, this is a masturbator. A masturbator. Oh Ooh. my god. Ooh, ooh, masturbator. And ooh. the one I brought has two entryways, so yeah. it's like a front and a back. Okay, so this is like the yeah. butthole, and this is like the vagina. Exactly. Ooh, guys, it, it, it feels like skin, like, whoa. So this is the opening. Uh, but, but, but look, look, the, 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 it, small, it, right? it really it's looks stretches. small. You know, like so if, tight. I mean, don't you feel like it would be so much work for the guy? Like, are you going to open it up and put Before your stuff in? Okay, so obviously this is not a woman. It can't lubricate itself. Okay. Once you use it with lubricant, it should just slip right in. Mm. So it's not, it's no matter right. the size. Slip right in. No matter the size. Um, but you know, some people have got really big. Let me see. Mm. Okay, let me let me show let me show it to you guys. So it really stretches. Look at that. Wow, like. And then it stretches length. <laughs> okay, and then the length. Yeah. So no matter how long you are, no matter how thick you are. Okay. Maybe there are some like, special pieces, super 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 <laughs> size that might not fit. That might not like, fit, but I'm sure they'll get their size, know. right? Yeah. So this is for you guys. Don't you think that all these things are for ladies and dildos and blah, blah, blah for ladies. So this is also for you. The master beta it is really soft. This is a and toy then, that couples use together. Okay. So it's a vibrating. Oh, so we've got covering. something for couples. Yeah, so you have, see. We actually have lots of stuff for couples. For couple. I only brought one today. It's a vibrating cock ring. Okay. A cock ring is a, a ring that the mm -hmm. man wears at the base of his penis yeah. to prolong his... Um, Erection. Yeah. It prevents the blood from, from like, going back. Okay, okay. So they've pretty much just taken a basic cock ring and they've attached a vibrating bullet to it. So when the man wears it on his penis, mm -hmm. each time he makes impact, yeah. then it vibrates and stimulates her clitoris. So okay. Getting the penetration so it's like it's right. working like this too. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So it's like it, it turns his penis into a rabbit vibrator. Okay. Okay. But then uh for how long can this ring be on on your cock? You should cuz it's preventing the blood yeah, from yeah, going yeah. backwards. You shouldn't wear it for more than 30 minutes. Okay. So okay. Don't wear it and walk around. Wear it when you're ready for action. Okay. Don't, don't wear it for more than 30 minutes. Okay, so I've got so many questions coming in. I'm going to read your comments and then we'll go for a break and we'll be right back. And I'll open the phone lines. You can call in and ask all your questions. Okay, so we got, um, hmm. Wow. MFA Cynthia. Ha, 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 ha. This is serious. <laughs> Ainu Jephthah say, I'll buy for her if I'm traveling outside the country. Prince Faisal Nujo says, I'm not watching. <laughs> Prince, <laughs> how are you not watching if you are here already? Emmanuel Cyrus say, hey, God. Abdul Bazid say, hey. Everybody's exclaiming, like everybody's going gaga. Um, well, Sel Ang say, God, if you're not busy, please come and see something. <laughs> Chelsea Sun says that 
it's sad humans are on this. Uh, Bath what your fellow says, I would like to see an experiment. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, Nanayao, this is very interesting. I wouldn't have read it, but I want to read it. Nanayao says that the girl reading the comment looks like a lesbian. I don't know what a lesbian looks like, but that's okay, right? <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's weird, but then, pff, yeah. Sila Bansen says that the dark brown one looks nice, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you are with Na. Na also feels like it looks really great. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Da the final comment. Daniel Ohene Jakum says that why are all why all these why all these ladies are are we not enough since we single men are there in a hot stage? Okay, so I know what he means. <laughs> Just like Adiza says that sex toys can never replace the human connection or human bond. A sex toy cannot kiss you, cannot hug you, cannot cuddle you. So then, I mean, you've got nothing to worry about. If you've got your game right, why worry? Okay. So, this is Let's Talk About Sex, powered by Paul's Ghana. My name is Roxanne, with my lovely guest. We'll be right back after this short break. And you welcome back to Let's Talk About Sex, powered by Pulse Ghana. I'm here with Adiza from Odo Asem Romance and Get Shop, and our lovely Na. So, before we go into the other sex toys, so many questions coming in. So, that I would like to ask Adiza, um, I asked before, is it safe and all about, can virgins use sex toys? Um, you can use, I would say, to preserve your virginity, mm -hmm. you shouldn't use a sex toy that you're going to insert. Mm -hmm. You can use the external ones, like a for the clitoris. Even if you choose to use this, you can use it on externally. Around you. Don't put yeah, it inside. Yeah. But why? If you put it inside, is it going to break your hymen or whatever? Is it, it, it going to cause just, some just, damage? Just personally, I feel like breaking your virginity is such is such a big deal. It's 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 a big step in your life. Mm -hmm. At least there should be some human connection. That's yeah. just my yeah, yeah. No one. There's no law that says a virgin can't use a sex toy. Yeah. But just personally, I wouldn't want a sex toy to break my virginity. You need some human connection. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So in the comment, we realize that a lot of people are like, "Hey, God. Hey, I mean, everybody. Why are we doing this? Oh, this is great. This is that. This is bad." <sighs> yes, we've had. S like uh, such comments most of the time people think sex is a bad thing and how much more sex toys so Adiza you've been you've been in this business for a while how do you feel about these comments how do you feel about people I mean criminalizing or demonizing uh, these kind of uh, stuff personally mm -hmm. I open my store mm -hmm. for open-minded people who are who want to explore so I don't really? go around trying to convince people who are not interested in sex toys okay oh come on try it no mm -hmm. if you're not interested you don't have to try it mm -hmm. I'm there for the people who who want to explore new things want to bring some fresh exciting mm -hmm, different mm -hmm, mm -hmm, perspectives mm -hmm. to their bedroom yeah, yeah personally yeah. I don't believe good sex is a sin great God created our bodies to feel pleasure mm -hmm. God created sex mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with making it better mm -hmm. so the the comments come all the time. They just bounce off my skin because I'm not wow, there for the I people who are, I love Adiza. who are not I love interested Adiza. in sex toys. Now, what do you feel? <laughs> what do you think of Adiza's comment? And what do you think of people saying that uh, this is bad? Hey, God, sex toys, blah blah blah. What do you um, what do you have to say to those people? No, at times I just want to accept when they discriminate. 
how do you feel like I, I really to your show and be like, oh, oh not at all. I, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. not at all. When I was starting this business, people told me, are you crazy? You can't do this yeah. in, Ghana. Mm. in Ghana. But it's funny, yeah? Like, th you could see that a lot of people are uncomfortable, but you'd be amazed at the patronage oh, of these interest. things, people right? Are so, so are we hypocrites? What are we doing? Like, nah, have summer. you ever used a sex toy before? Yeah, I have. Which one? Which, are, do you, like, are they here? Like, is any of them here? I've tried the handcuff. Oh, the handcuff. Oh, okay. Is, is that also considered as a sex toy? Even lubricant is under it's the broad category of sex toy. Okay, so it's like, so like an umbrella term yeah, sex yeah, toy. Because yeah. for me, when I hear sex toy, I'm you thinking think of dildo yeah, that's or what people penis think. or oh, something yeah. like that. Okay, moving on. We've got a whole lot more here. We've explored the vagina and the penis one. Okay, which one is this? Have you seen 50? Oh, this. Yeah. This we is, it's, it's a pulsator. Mm -hmm. Pulsator. Most, most people have heard of a vibrator, but they haven't, haven't heard of a pulsator. Okay. So, um, just... Pulsator. I hear pulse. Pul you, pulse, yes. Pulse. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it, it, it pulses the airwaves around your clitoris, and it provides a very interesting stimulation. Wait, is that the sensation when you, like, you know, sometimes when you're horny and you are making now put a... Your, now put your, put your little finger inside. You didn't hear my question. Is it the same feeling like like you are making out with someone now with chair and homie? Is it the same thing that it does? I don't understand the key. <laughs> <laughs> like you see, you feel like you're you are throbbing. The throbbing oh. feeling, like yeah, your, your organs like that, are breathing. But, but on a heightened level, like this thing is intense. This, it was okay. my it was I, my I, I would like to feel it after here. Who, you want to put your oh, finger? Okay, did you feel it? Did you feel it? What's <laughs> so imagine this targeted sensation right on top of your clitoris. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's really intense. Wow, yeah. wow. So this is just for the clitoris. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll read a few comments and uh, we'll get into it. Kelvin Aivo says, are you guys okay? Yes, Kelvin, we are very much okay. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, Fred Okoro says, I like her. Charles Tubenyo says, nice one, I love it. Yes, we love you too, Charles. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sorry I can't mention s most of your names. Bath for Theophilus says, experiment, let's see. Maxwell Kofi Bedu says, Eda yesu bebano. Ubeti bo... Ah, I can't get it. Yeah. Na, Naf Haruna says, stop what you are doing, please. Classic Kweku Kwe -Kwe Bling says, um, hmm, Hamza. Alu Alau says this is serious. <laughs> Prince Faisal Nujo says, Tell Na I'm badly in love with her. Now nah, you've got an admirer. <laughs> Do Ghana say, Have you people used it before? Just tell me. Well, I haven't used it before. Na has used the handcuffs. I'm yet to try. So I'm taking one of them with me. So if you can guess which one, yeah. And then we have uh, Ramzi Nana Bonnie says, My Brempo. <laughs> Then I'm our brain. I don't know our brain. Remember, you start to hear crowd. Jeffrey Thomas Yali says, children are watching all. Whew. Why wow. are children watching? Let's talk I about sex. sex. I just time. Put 30. your kids to bed. <laughs> well, okay. So then, I also wanted to ask, are the, ma the materials used for these kind of things, how safe are they for the skin? So that's why I said it's good to do research mm -hmm. and make sure you're buying your toys from a reputable source. Okay. Because... Some people are making cheap toys out of all kinds of rubbers and stuff that have dangerous chemicals in them. Okay. So it's important to make sure your toys don't have any... Um, there's a chemical called um, fatalates that they use to soften hard plastic to okay. make them feel all jelly-like. Okay. And they, ah. they have, there are studies that suggest that there's a link to cancer. Wow. But but some people don't know this. They just go and pick up any toy. It's important to check the toys. I personally like um, to recommend silicone, glass. Because this is like silicone, right? Toys. This is silicone. Um, this is cyber skin. This okay, is cyber skin. Silicone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Another this, thing mm. is if, if you get the um, porous toys, mm. they can hide germs and stuff in the, in the crevices if you don't clean them properly mm. and you can't sterilize them. But if you get, so if it's something you just want to experiment with, try a few times, mm -hmm. you can get a non-porous one, just make sure it's body safe material. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then make sure you clean it properly. But if it's something you want to use for a long time, use often, yeah. get a non-porous material like silicone, like glass, that won't harbor any germs, you okay. can sterilize it. Okay. Uh, when using the sex toys, must you 
hide out in your room. Like you have to hide. Like your privacy. People. Yeah, mm. you need your privacy. Well, to we don't have sex in public, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, so okay. Are you trying? Okay, but you know, sometimes you can use it with your partner, or you mean solo when you're going solo. solo yeah. Because yeah. some partners are not okay. You use ah, it in front okay. of them, hiding them. So with so with sex toys, bringing. Bringing sex toys into a relationship. Yeah. I always say talk about it first. Mm -hmm. Don't just get to the bedroom and then pull this thing out no, when you, you haven't know, talked about it with your man. Sometimes it's a bit re uh, like it's challenging because um, if uh, maybe the sex is not good or it get it's gotten a bit boring, and you don't want to and tell you don't him. want to hurt her feelings or his feelings, and you don't actually really know how she's going to feel about introducing this. You don't want to risk anything. I mean, you can hide it if you. I mean, you can be safe now. Like, would you like? Would you be able to do something like this if maybe sex life with your boyfriend gets boring? What would you do with sex toy? Um, let me say this about the handcuff. Mm. When you tried it the first time, okay, I felt like I was abused. He didn't talk to but you first. Who brought it? Who brought did? the handcuffs? Out of nowhere, he, he brought, it. brought it. Oh, okay, okay. he okay. And I was like, okay, I've seen these things in the movie, so yeah. I was like, let's try. Okay, but he felt it was exciting. I just felt like mm. after he had tied yeah, yeah. mm. at the sides of the bed, then I was like, mm. yeah. I'm so, 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 so bondage, all those kinds of things are a whole different dimension. Yeah, and it's not child's play. Mm. It can even get dangerous. Yeah. So it's something you have to talk because, like, there's about a thin line between pleasure and yes, pain, right? Yes. So and it, can, it actually gets dangerous when people yeah. don't do the right research. Maybe, yeah. maybe they are drunk, so they don't. They are not in the right frame of mind. You didn't talk to your. When you are doing that kind of play, you need a safe word. So that when yeah. your partner, maybe when you got to a point where you're not feeling comfortable, mm -hmm. and you, you say this, because in, in, in that type of play, when you say, oh, stop, like, ow, it's part of it. Yeah, because if you say, mm. stop it, <laughs> exactly. or you're like, mm, ouch, maybe it could no, be like pain may, or maybe you're pleasure. Really, it could maybe be you're really in distress. So if you, if you have a safe <laughs> word that's totally unrelated, that is, yeah. and you say the safe word, then he knows that, no, she's really, or he's really in distress, wow. and it's time wow. to stop. Wow. So don't, don't take these things lightly. Yeah. At least talk about it and do some research. But, but now, so after your experience with the hand of did you try it again or that was it you were like okay this is it i'm not going to do this again because i didn't feel good i did a second like time. you did you tried it, it was fun it was fun it was you were the ready second time was i was fun. you were ready okay I was re and i think it got to the point where he just coughed one, one hand one hand okay so one was left, free you didn't yeah. feel all like yeah and uh, i well, mean bondage good. like so apart from the about apart from the uh, wait, oh, that was the handcuff. Yeah. Which other one would you like to try? For me, for me, as a beginner, I would like to try this one. Mm. It looks small and safe. Right? Yeah, it looks small and safe. Now, what about you? As a beginner, are you a beginner? <laughs> no. <laughs> as a beginner, she this one you are real using. thing. Because I mean, I would like to stimulate. Now we have different shapes, different sizes. We have some that can bend. We have the curved like one. The curved one. The curved one. The left. Different colors. Curved to the left. Yeah. Okay. So you, you, you should explore. Okay, so okay now well, let's I move to on to the, the, the who, other one. Who saw Fifty Shades of Grey? Well, I did, but it wasn't that much, right? No, like really. I was like, maybe I, I couldn't really relate. The, These, I didn't really relate oh, okay, to it. Okay. So. These are really popular because of the movie, because this is the same one he used on Anastasia. Ooh. What did he use it for? These are, so these are called um, Kegel balls, Ben one. Okay, Kegel. Okay, yes. I know Kegel. Yes. Yeah, so these, it's heavy. Yeah, these are for pros. We Ooh. have light ones, we have many different ones, but these weighted ones are kegel balls. not for beginners. So they're like mini weights to do your kegel exercises. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I know kegel. Yeah. You, uh, exercising it's your pelvic, pelvic like you yeah. mia your vagina, you release it. <laughs> exactly. You mia it, you exactly. release it. So you put yeah. this inside your vagina. Yes. Both or one? Both. Oh, how? Ah. Both. Both. You so you put this one inside. And push the next one in. And push the Ooh. next one inside. Yeah. So, in the movie, he actually pushed it in her before they went out to a cocktail party or dinner or something. So, she had it in the whole night. Oh! And imagine these heavy things bouncing around. It's, so, it's what, what, what is it for? What is this for? Like, well, the main purpose of this, yeah, 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 is, is for the Kegel exercises. Okay. But, okay. but some people get sexual pleasure from having the weighted balls bouncing around mm. in them. So, she was all ready. So, just before he inserted, he pulled them out and yeah. then went in. I, I would yeah. like to try, but not for long. So I mean, and maybe not these. We have we have many different ones. Yeah. They are lighter ones. It opens up the... No, no, no. It's like a weight. You know how you weight Oh, lifting. okay. It's like... It's like a oh, mini push weight up. for your pelvic Vagina push up. muscle. <laughs> okay. It's a little weight. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. So many comments. 
Okay, Ramos Salam Vamos says that then who do you try it with? Nana was said to say, Wash, Nana, wash a day. Gatuso, Malaika, Lescano. I'm enjoying it, oh. Randy, faculty, what she says, guys, it's too much kids. It, well, it's too much kids in Jesus are uh, watching. Wow, well, okay. Um, Samo Akpata, mm -hmm. Mensan says, wow. Uh, Phil Ab says, America and Europe influencing Africa. Listen to their accent. Okay, well, I thought he was going to say this is like Europe and this is... So, okay, let's also talk about this. Do you think that long time ago these things were there or we had other ways of bringing in excitement? Or was this from the West? Recently, I saw a little video mm. of a guy who does wood carvings. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. he actually carves wooden yeah, penises. penises okay. that people buy. Oh, okay, and, people and, actually and, use it. Yeah, and use as dildos. And those didn't come from the West. Yeah. And, well, I, I don't know the history, mm -hmm. but that's a purely local product yeah. that people are patronizing. Yeah, yeah, and what's yeah. even worse is sometimes people just use household products that were not specifically designed for that purpose mm. and end up injuring themselves. Yeah, because the other time we were talking about masturbation and then, you know, uh, some like some people use like banana, cucumber. Oh, so, 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 yeah. so what if this banana goes and breaks in you? But because it's food, I mean, you eat it anyway. So like, it's just, it's like, it's fun another mm, way to enter not, your body. They're not meant to go that way. They're supposed <laughs> to go through your through whole your digestive. Mouth. Exactly. But you know, that, that's also like a mouth. Because look at, look at this one, right? Look, 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 look. This thing looks like a mouth. Oh, I'm not saying it won't <laughs> fit, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's not meant to go it, there. It's not meant to go yeah. there. Okay, okay. Um, so let's, we've done the Kegel balls. Okay, I see this. It looks like a CD. What is this? <laughs> it's an edible panty. What? Edible. <laughs> edible panty. Meaning Dross, ah, yeah, re. Mm. Dross, ah, yeah, re. Yeah, yeah. mini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So what? Well, it's made, it's, it's made out of candy. Okay, okay, okay. And so the lady will wear it. Will wear it and then he'll eat it off you. Oh. Yeah. He'll eat it mm -hmm. off me. Ooh. Oh, this is amazing. Oh. And is, is it usually red? Um, different flavors. Some some are chocolate. So what so flavor is this? This is cherry. Yeah, this is cherry. Wow. This yeah. is this is wild. This is really romantic. I've never so heard see, of this. So see, so this one isn't like maybe people who are like, oh, I don't want a dildo. Yeah. It's 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 not So you see, sex toys is not only about dildos and vagina shaped yeah, stuff and all exactly. that. This is an edible panty. I have never. Do, do we have them in like in brass? Yeah, and we even have for men. Wow. Yeah, so Ooh. it's not one sided. And um, this is BJ. Now would you like to get that one? <laughs> I'm taking this one home because it's too nice. <laughs> Which is BJ Blast? Yeah, it's oral sex candy. Okay. So we just. You know that type of candy that when you put in your mouth, it's all popping and fizzing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is that like that popping candy, mm -hmm. and you just put in your mouth before you give him a blue. So job. the dick feels they're popping and, and fizzing. And it tastes, it tastes good. Mm. Okay, the dick. Yeah, because you know, mm. I've said this before. If you are giving a B, uh, a BJ and you're sucking a dick, it's not like there's chocolate around it that you're sucking. Yeah. It's just like the emotional attachment yeah. and the love that you feel. That's what is making you enjoy. But this, this is actually like makes it taste like candy. Yeah. Nah. Maybe you take this one and I'll take the no panty. Or it should be sugary. Oh yeah, it will, it, if you are worried okay, about I'll your take weight, it has some mm -hmm. calories. I'll take a few calories. more comments and then uh, we'll go for a break and we'll take calls. Okay. Hi, I'm watching from. This is Shaggy Shaggy Polo. <laughs> I know you guys have amazing names. He says, um, "Hi, I'm watching from." Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wow. I believe in the natural tutu. <laughs> and uh, Jeffrey Thomas Yali says, Is this Africa? Prosper P Pisa says, Why are you guys being hypo hypocritic on this? You are all saying negative stuff about this. It's educated. We learn from everything we come across every day. Thumbs up, ladies. Thank you, Prosper. Thank wow, you. I like that. Because it's like everybody is giving up, Oh, what is this? Oh, where is God? Hey, Jesus, come for us. But trust me, this is some amazing stuff. Oh, All those I'm who have problem with this is like your sex oh, life is boring. <laughs> I know, I'm not my saying no. Not necessarily though, you yeah. know, that's why I said I don't force it on people. There yeah, are people yeah, who are yeah. having fantastic sex yeah. with no yeah, sex without toys. This. Exactly. I mean, like, so it's I not mean, for everyone. I haven't used it, but it's then I'm not being... Yeah. Okay. Frederick Mensah says that it's now married now. Please, answer this question. Should is now married? Na you want to know? Because it's like now nah, it's getting a lot of... <laughs> 
I mean, attention in her sassiness and in her coolness. No, I'm not married. You heard that? The way she even said it. No, I'm not married. Okay, so someone, Afeni Beidu says that, hey, so what is happening in our present generation? <laughs> Introducing sex toys in marriage. So friends will meet and start using toys. Well, 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 it's a long one. I'm not going to go into that. But yes, married couples can use sex toys. Mm -hmm. People going out can use sex toys if you're active. Can I just add that I yeah. have a lot of customers who are actually quite older, elder, yeah. So you know, you the older you get, your body starts changing, maybe yeah, you need a little more, more help. help, yeah. It may be failing you in some areas yeah, and you exactly. need some boost, exactly. right? Okay, wow, we'll go for a break before we end up with this one and this one. So, and then this one, we've got about four that we need to learn about. This is Let's Talk About Sex Part by Paul's Ghana. This is the only sex talk show that we spill all the juices. We say it like it is raw. We'll be right back. Don't go away. What is good? Welcome back to Let's Talk About Sex. I'm here with Adiza and Na. Na is already enjoying the uh, the Na, dildo. Can you give it a blowjob? Ooh, wow. that's a great question, right? Like, can you? You can use it to practice. But it's, yeah, it's, but it's what would you it's feel? Not gonna, it's not going to feel anything. Maybe so. if she put the the aura BJ blast on it, maybe <laughs> she'll have some, <laughs> some taste, right? Yeah. Okay. The, the, the pleasure from blowjobs comes from pleasuring your partner. Great. So this, this, this toy isn't going to do anything. It's not, gonna do anything. Yeah. It's not breathing. It's not moaning. It's not. It, it, are but there any sex toys that can moan? Because it may help, right? Now they actually make full blown sex dolls. Yeah, for men. Yeah. And why are they making the. Okay, well, I won't do that now. <laughs> so we have this one. Uh, it says mood. Mood. Water base. What is this? It's a lubricant. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. I know I know lubricants. Like, yes, I've yeah. used lubricants. I just before. bought a, a very simple, basic one. Water okay. based. Water we have based. Um, silicone lubricants. Okay. We have flavored lubricants. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah we have yeah. warming, cooling, tingly. We have all kinds of lubricants. Wow. Don't yeah. people have reactions to it? Yeah. That's, that's like, like everything. Mm -hmm. There's some people who might react. So we have sensitive, hypoallergenic ones. Wow. So, so if you're sensitive, maybe you don't want to go and get the strawberry flavored yeah. lubricant. So, so try just a little bit first and see if you, if you don't This react. one seems safe because yeah. it's water-based. Yeah. Water-based, like no scent, no fragrance. Okay. They're just like, like KY gel. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so our lines, I'm going to open our call lines for you to call in and let us know how you feel. I see a lot of comments. I'm not able to read everything. Okay, so if you want to call, this is the line to call in. 0246. 476-432. Again, 0246-476-432. Call in, tell us what you feel, and then this is Let's Talk About Sex. Okay, so moving on, I see this. I don't know if you can zoom what is written on here. Read the front first. The front. Okay, the front says erotic lovers, dark chocolate body paint. Dark chocolate body paint. 
Nah, can you read what is on it for me? <laughs> Dark chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. No, on top of it, on top of it, there, there's some nice. Paint me. Mmm. Lick me. Mm. Yeah. Eat me. <laughs> Eat me. Fuck me. Oh! So it says paint me. What? Lick me. Eat me. Now, you're the bachi where they. Dim me. Paint, paint, yeah, they. Draw me home. And a second one, yeah, they. Lick me. Tafri me home. And a third one, yeah, they. Dim me, dim me. Dim me. And a fuck me, yeah, they. Rim me. Oh! I love this. So, this is what? Dark chocolate body paint. How does it work? Um, you can pretty much. Put it anywhere, anywhere. on your body and yeah, lick it off. Lick it off. Exactly. Is it like an aphrodisiac? Because if it's just any dark chocolate, I could just use chocolate, any chocolate. I could just buy any chocolate and do that. You right? could use, you could pop any chocolate in the microwave, melt it. Oh, okay. I so mean, it's like melted. Nutella. Hard bar. Oh, yeah, exactly. You Nutella. Can use, you can use Nutella. You can <laughs> yeah. use whipped cream. Mm. Just don't put them inside because they're not made for that. So next time you're yeah. going to get your, your partner to lick chocolate off you, just say, paint me, lick me. Eats me. Fuck, Fuck me. me. <laughs> okay, so we've got this. That's it says nipple nibbles. Yeah. Tingle balm. What is this? So it's 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 a nipple balm that um, gives your nipples a tingly sensation. But the nipples are already very sensitive. So like, are you trying to kill us? So it makes them extra tingly, but it also makes it taste good. Oh, okay. So yeah. what flavor is and, this? And it doesn't show. So if you put it on, he doesn't even, even know it's on. And during foreplay, he just happens to taste your nipple. It would be like a pleasant surprise. Like, I wasn't expecting that. That you said, oh, no, it's yeah. like that. Like, um, it's natural. This is pink lemonade, but it comes in lots of flavors. We mm. have mocha, peppermint, um, Belgian waffle. So if you put this one, how long does it take? How long? Is it like when you are going to... Um, have say like oh, yeah, maybe five minutes before I the action. I wouldn't put it on the morning if I'm gonna have action later. Put oh. it on like a few That's minutes before. To, yeah. But then what yeah. if he's not paying attention to the nipple? Like are you gonna like direct 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 him. <laughs> where's your head? <laughs> put your head on the nipple. Exactly. And you know what? It, yeah. I use it as lip balm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it tastes yeah, great it too tastes on the lips. So if you are yeah. kissing so and all exactly. that. Exactly. So it makes the kissing taste good as well. I'm taking this home. Yeah. Like, I'm taking a lot <laughs> home tonight. I'm taking mm. the candy bros. Mm. Bros na yere no. This is mine. This is <laughs> So you see something like this. Yeah. Something like lubricant. Something Ooh, like Oh, we have a caller coming in. We have a caller coming in. Oh, and we miss him. Okay, I'm going to open the phone lines again. I'm sorry about that. You can call us. On uh, 0246 476 432. 0246 476 432. Please call us, call us again. <laughs> <laughs> what were we saying? <clears throat> okay, we are done with this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the last one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Last but not the least, sex dice. Sex dice. So I see two big dice. What is it? So I just brought this as an example of a sex game. We have lots oh, of games. Oh, okay. We have about five minutes. We should play. We have play, dice play. games. We have card games. We have board okay, games. Okay, okay, okay. Akola is calling. Akola is calling. Hello, caller. Hello. Oh, we missed uh, him or her. Please call us back. We need to hear your voice tonight. Okay, we've got sex dice. Okay. So one dice shows you what position, mm -hmm. and then the other dice, just like for how long, who's gonna. And our caller is back. We'll be hold we'll be that thought. Hello. Hello. Hi, caller. Yeah, I'm calling from the US. Hi, someone from the US. Hey. <laughs> okay, yeah. you're welcome to the show. What's your name? Ajua, thank you. I love that. I love thank that. you so oh, much, Ajua. I know. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 Mm, you need to restock. <laughs> wow, I just thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and we need, we really need to step up, right? Yeah. Uh. 
Okay, okay, we are losing you. We are losing you. There's another caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Hi, can you speak up a bit? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hope you are doing good. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm also blessed by the three. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, we lost. I think we are losing a lot of people tonight. Please keep calling us. Adjoa, I mean, your your call went off. You can call us back. Your story is really, really interesting. Adjoa is married with three kids. Guys, those of you going gaga about sex toys, her husband actually buys the sex toys for her husband. I mean, this is amazing, right? Yeah, and it shouldn't be demonizing. I mean, and then sometimes the man or the woman might have a genuine health issue. Great, right? Yeah, that where one partner is unable to satisfy the other, not because they yeah. don't want to, because they have a genuine issue. Yeah. But as human beings, we need we need to be satisfied. Yeah. You, you, you won't be happy in your marriage, in your relationship, if you're not getting good sex. Yeah. So some of these things, they actually help do you in think, situations like that. Do you think sex toys can uh, help reduce uh, cheating in relationships? Oh, definitely. Mm. Definitely. If, okay. a, if, if a man just needs, like, his woman is out of town mm -hmm. or something, he... He just needs to come and he masturbates. Done. He yeah. doesn't have to go looking for it yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Insane. A woman can. Okay. Thank God. Ajwa is calling back. Okay. Hi, Ajwa. Sorry, the line went off. Yes. Yeah, I know. It's raining over here, so maybe that's Oh, okay, okay. It's good, okay. It's good to have sex points. It's Great. It's a woman show. It's very orgasm. Mm-hmm. very good. Yeah, because yeah, most women are, 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 are... Yeah. Most women are yeah, missing out. Know, Wow. Ajwa, you are some freaky one. <laughs> yeah, it turns you on. Mm -hmm. yes, that it, we should stop this African mentality. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Together. Wow. So you perform for him and, you know, you put on the vibrator, he could watch and all that. Of course, we do, we do. Sometimes when we travel together, we do, we do have a uh, phone sex. Okay. And all that. Okay. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Because we need to stop this African mentality. Yeah. We need to explore. Like, no, everybody is cheating. You call this friend, this way I'm cheating. My husband is cheating. Because things are getting boring sometimes. Yeah. It's, it's boring. Just go and lie down and the man will have sex with you. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. If you don't want to keep it, yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 Okay. Okay. I like. I love Ajwa. Ajwa, thank you so much. We have another caller coming in. Thank you so much, Ajwa. God bless you and your husband. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, good. Good evening. You are calling from Libya, are you? Yeah, I'm calling from Libya. Wow, like so many international calls tonight. Libya is calling. What's your name? Yeah. Sorry? Uh, I'm Kinsley. Kinsley. Wow, you're welcome to the show, Kinsley. Yeah. How do you feel about sex toys? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying everything, right? Thank you. Yeah, I, I, only have, I only have one question. Are you ladies not wet? Are we what? Not wet, wet. Are we not wet? <laughs> Kinsley. Now this question that you're asking, if I if we answer you, what will you do about it? Me that I, if I'm wet right now, what will you do, Kinsley? Will you come all the way from Libya to come and satisfy me? <laughs> well, I, well, okay. To answer you, no, I'm not. Now, nah, are you wet? No. <laughs> Adiza, are you wet? I think his question is inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adiza thinks your question is inappropriate. Yeah, but, no, Adiza, I really like Adiza, he likes Thank you. you. Kingsley, yeah. Thank you. yeah. So, I mean, how, how do you feel about sex toys? Well, would you, would you, I mean, would you advise your woman or would you encourage your woman to use some? We we'll try some, eh? Yeah. That's great. I, I I like that. I like that. Thank you so much, Kinsley, for calling. Uh, have a great night. Bye. Ooh, some people want to know 
certain things that they can't know. <laughs> Okay, so I'll read a few comments. Time is fast spent, yeah. and I'll give you my top three sex tips, and then we'll move on. Okay. Comment, comment. I haven't forgotten you. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Marvin Sowat Jr. says, a lot of angry viewers, yet they are still watching. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of I angry emojis thing. going. I'm like, oh, wow, you're still here with me. Terrell, Terrell says, it's funny how many guys are getting angry at this. Yeah. Bryce, some say you should get up and give us 360. I don't know who should, but I hope it's not me. Uh, Gray movie says girls and their things. Hmm. Well, great. This is not only for girls, right? Sex toys are for guys too. So let's get educated. Jonathan Frimpon says, Yak Mark, you are right, bro. They always want to pretend. Uh, well, Emmanuel Jamina says, I want to experiment with the lady in the middle. Well, Emmanuel, I'm sorry. The lady in the middle is so taking. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Teflon Slim says, love out loud. You guys are having fun. Nana Yao says, please, like seriously, can someone invite Nanado here? This is totally unfair. I mean, what has this got to do with Nanado? <laughs> I hope Nanado is watching. He's, he must be enjoying it. Oh, uh, well, 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 well. I cannot read everything. You guys are, uh, I mean... Of the hook, you guys are amazing. I can't, I can't just, I'm so sorry. I couldn't read everything. So, uh, this is Let's Talk About Sex. We've been discussing sex stories with Adiza from Odoa Sam Gift and Romance Shop. And my lovely stroke student, cum learner, cum researcher about <laughs> sex toys, nah. And uh, tonight, before I leave, you know, as I always do, I have my top three sex tips for you. Number one. Don't be pressured to try it, okay? As Adiza said earlier, it's not for everybody. It's okay if you don't like it. It's okay if you're freaked out. It's okay if you think, oh, this is not morally right. It's okay. Don't try it. And don't feel pressured to try it by all means. Number two, start small, like me. I haven't tried one before, but I, I'm interested. I'm ready to explore. So I will want to start with this one. It looks like a lip balm. Very, very, it looks safe, right? And I can use it on my clitoris first before I can start with the insertion ones. So start small. Don't go in and like you're ready. You're crazy for sex toys and you go and grab this so gun. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Oops, oops. And number three, use lubricant. Use lubricant. Most of these products are product. They are toys. They are material. So it's not human. It's not natural. So it's better to use safe lubricant. I would advise the water-based ones. And then um, you lubricate it because it's not naturally wet already. So you lubricate it to make penetration easier, to make the sensation smoother. Okay, so I'll go over. Don't be pressured to try it on. Start small and use lubricant. Whew, we've come to the end of this already. Now, what will be your last words? Okay, um, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. the uncuffed, I used it. I didn't like it. Mm. I tried it a second time. Many G. Okay. Me. Ube used to, who used to first time, now I'm born. I'm born. And Tress said, Jai. Yeah. Sang you to be a second chance. Ube, yeah. Ube, dear. Yeah, Ube, dear. Just said, Nay, dear, dance ye. Testimony time. Yeah. Adiza. Uh, we, we are there to answer people's questions, yeah. to take you through, to show you how things work. Yeah. So don't don't be scared if you are interested. Yeah. Don't be scared to try it. Yeah. There's, there's no harm in trying. You might not like it. You might not like this type, but you like this type. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. just explore. It helps you explore your body. Okay. But then, like I keep saying, do the research. Mm -hmm. Know the good materials. Know how to take care of it. Know yeah. how to clean it, how to store it. Yeah, that, yeah. that, 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 that bit. Just one minute. The maintenance, the hygiene. How do we maintain this? How do we keep it clean? Um, you know, I talked about porous and non-porous. Yeah, so yeah. All toys you can wash with warm soapy water. We also sell um, toy cleaners. That okay. Are made specifically for all the right. toys, but you don't have to buy a toy cleaner if you don't want to. You can use warm soapy water. Warm soapy water. And for the non-porous materials, you can actually boil them. Okay. And sterilize them. Okay. Um, don't if you have a collection of toys, don't store two toys together, touching, because different materials could react oh, with each okay, other. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So make sure you don't store them touching. Okay. Um, that's one thing. Make sure you completely dry them before mm. you put them away so that they're okay. not moist and catching yeah, and Yeah, touching and, and okay, yeah. gel like. And then after a while, if you've had it for years, you notice you that it's starting it. to break down. Yeah, when, you can restore. Like when there are rips and stuff, it can harbor gel. And so can you use condoms it. on them too yes. for safety, yes, sexual? Okay, okay. okay. But okay, so then yeah. where can we find you though? Um, 
the physical store is located in Lashibi, okay. behind the Lashibi Funeral Homes. Okay. But we are online at www.odasem.com. Okay. Yeah, so you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, you can go to our website. Okay. Our numbers are all Great. There, or you can visit us in Lashibi. Wow. I'll, I'll pay you a visit. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's like, but before that, I'm taking this home. The candy, uh, the candy draws. All right. Thank you so much, Adiza. It was thank a you, pleasure. Na. And thank you guys so much for keeping it real with me. This has been Let's Talk About Sex. Powered by Pulse Ghana. Let's do this again next week. Same time. Bye.